What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Red Aid and I here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be talking some Halloween news and discussing Halloween and what the upcoming future of this franchise is going to be because we already got the official confirmation and I don't think it's any secret this is apparently going to be going to the small screen. We are going to be seeing Michael Myers on television so let's find out and today discuss my feelings on that and my ideas on terms of what the concept and what they're going to go with and everything i'm going to talk about that in this video as well so let's do this roll it <laughs> And of course, these are just my thoughts and my opinions and my feelings on what I think the show is going to be and my feelings on what this means for the franchise and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, anything that you all feel or would like to chat or your feelings on this topic, please share in the comments down below. So now let's get into it. Yes, it's no secret. Horror is blowing up and it's popular for everything. It's making money in the movie market, but it's also making money in the television market. As we have Friday the 13th going to television, we have the Chucky TV series going on right now. They are getting a season three, so we know they're going to get more. And then we've had the Hannibal TV show. We have American Horror Story, so there's just a plethora of horror television going on, even Stranger Things. There's another one right there for you, so... Michael Myers, of course, is going to break it onto the small screen. And that's what we're hearing is that apparently that's where Miramax is taking this property. They're taking Michael Myers and the Halloween property to the small screen. And they're going to kind of take it all the way back to the OG original 78 one and kind of do a, you know, reimagining or, you know, revamping. So we're getting we're getting another new timeline. But I already kind of knew this and had this feeling because my idea and my concept for the show of what they were going to do is basically go all the way back to its roots, take it all the way back to just Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis. Don't focus on no Laurie Strode stuff or no victims or anything like that. Just make it purely about Dr. Loomis hunting down Michael Myers, an escaped patient, you know what I mean? And it could happen on Halloween night, the first few episodes, but we already know Halloween is in the title and that accompanies that thing, but it doesn't have to be when it comes to a TV show, you're already starting a new, you know, this is a new realm that Michael Myers has never really touched before. So you don't necessarily have to call it Halloween. You can call it something else completely different, you know, Haddonfield Files, you know, the Dr. Loomis Files. You can call it anything else if you want, but I really think they should take this back to Dr. Loomis hunting down Michael Myers, you know, chasing one of his escaped patients that he feels like he's responsible for, you know what I mean? And this is the perfect time, too, because I think we are at that moment where we've been, it's been long enough since Donald Pleasance, and we've had enough new horror people and new generations of horror fans come up that it's time for us to have a new Dr. Loomis to champion, you know what I mean? Like Malcolm McDowell did a fantastic job in the Rob Zombie Halloween ones, but of course he's never going to be heralded as big as, you know, Donald Pleasance. I think it's time for the next, the next big one, the next major event of Donald Pleasant, you know, of, of Dr. Loomis. And I think for that character or that kind of actor, I'm picturing like when I picture it in my mind in the TV show, I'm picturing someone like a Jeffrey Dean Morgan or a Javier Bardem. Those are the kind of people that I'm picturing being the next Dr. Loomis in terms of, you know, this kind of, you know, element and taking this TV show. Because like I said, horror is blowing up and for Halloween hitting the television, it's just it's bound to happen. The question is for Michael Myers, are they going to be able to get James Jude Courtney to come back? Because he is God tier, is definitely with, proven with Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. James Jude Courtney clearly proved that he is the epic all-time Michael Myers. So like, they really need to get him to come back because I think that would just be a jam spot. A perfect thing. We have a new, Donald, uh, new Dr. Loomis actor. You know what I mean? That would be fantastic, championing the show, and then having James Jude Courtney back, you know, bringing in the movie fans, you know, the cinema fans who really respect James Jude Courtney's performance. That's really going to get all kinds of fans, you know, in, involved in this television show and really championing it. I don't know where it's going to be, if this is going to be on HBO Max or if it's going to be on Peacock or Pluto. I haven't, I don't know any word of that yet, but I know for sure that 
this is what Miramax is planning, that they really want to take this to the small screen, which I'm not mad at it. I know some people are kind of upset because Michael Myers is one of those franchises that has never graced the small screen. And a lot of fans think that this should just be a, you know, big movie event type, you know, thing. Halloween, Michael Myers, like Laurie Strode, Dr. Loomis, that should all be big movie event type things. But I think it's time. I'm I'm down. Like, for real, I am down. I know it sucks because sometimes it's hard to keep up on television shows when it comes to watch hours because it comes down to there's a lot more content you have to digest compared to just watching an hour and a half or a two-hour movie. But I think it's time to have a Halloween TV show. Like I said, I'm totally down. They're not going the anthology route. I know a lot of fans wanted them to go the anthology route, similar to Season of the Witch or something like that. New stories that all just take place on Halloween, and maybe they cross the path of Michael Myers, but they're not going to go that route. Like I said, as far as we know right now, they want to take it all the way back to that OG original and in terms of my opinion, they really need to focus on, like I said, that thing between Myers and Loomis and him hunting him down, you know, kind of take Laurie Strode and the victims out of it and the babysitters. You can have victims, you could have Michael Myers killing people. Of course, we want to see that. But I think the real heart of the show needs to be Dr. Loomis, you know, feeling responsible for Michael Myers and hunting him down and really trying to decide whether or not he wants to save Myers or if it's time to put him down. I think that would be fantastic. That's why I think you really need a actor like in the realm of like a Jeffrey Dean Morgan or a Javier Bardem, someone who can carry the weight of that show. These are just my thoughts and my opinions on that. Like I said, please let me know down below in the comment section, what are your all feelings on this news? And be sure to like this video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new, have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.